Y'all done messed up. Y'all done messed up big time. I, I just cannot believe that we are at Lincoln Financial Field and the Eagles are underdogs. Like, I could see if we were in San Francisco, right? They get that advantage because they're home. I could see that. I could see that. Make them a, you know, a point and a half favorite. I could see that. But you're talking about two and a half point favorite, a three point favorite in Lincoln Financial Field. You have lost your mind. So I'm actually happy that the world is doubting the Eagles. I'm happy that the sports books are betting that this will be the game the Eagles will fold. Here's why. It's kind of like how when Michael Jordan, before a game, he's like, it's personal. Because some scrub from some, from some other team comes out here and starts trash talking him. It's like, bro, you're trash talking Michael Jeffrey Jordan. You don't need to trash talk that guy when he's already going to give it to you. You feel what I'm saying? The Eagles make them as underdogs disrespecting them disrespecting the record disrespecting all of their great wins this season and saying yeah you might be the best record in the NFL but you're not you're not better than the 49ers after they beat them in the playoffs too just adds more fuel to their fires so I would like to personally thank the sports books because they just lit another fire under the Eagles. You saw when, you know, Jake Elliott hit that 59-yard field goal at the Bills game. And what happened? Jalen Hurts is on the sideline and he's shaking his head. 95% of quarterbacks is jumping up and down. Oh my gosh, I bet you Brock Purdy would be jumping up and down. But I think that Hurts represents the whole mentality of this Eagles team. These are some real dogs, bro. Like, people say that they're a dog. People say that, you know, they're cut like that. But you don't really see it until you're really under the fire. Until you have to come back from a lead and prove everybody wrong. And week after week after week, the Eagles come back. And prove everybody wrong. So talking about my first point. One of the reasons why I believe. That the Eagles will beat the 49ers. Is because the Eagles have shown. That they can not only. Win from front running. From being in the lead the whole entire game. But also. They know how to come back. When has there ever been a time. That Brock Purdy. And the 49ers. Have come back from a deficit it's it's never happened right but I can point to you multiple times this season against the Cowboys against the Chiefs against the Bills two great teams one very good team all great quarterbacks and the Eagles got it done and yes Jalen Hurts he is clutch Brandon Graham, he even said that Jalen Hurts, he has that Tom Brady effect. And I agree with that. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. But I want to say is this Eagles team isn't just clutch with Jalen Hurts and this offense. They're clutch on defense because you know how many times we have needed the defense to make a stop? We needed Hassan Reddick to show up. We needed Brandon Graham. To show up. We needed Josh Sweat to show up. Fletcher Cox, Jordan Davis, Jalen Carter, whoever it is. We needed them to show up and they did. That's having a clutch defense. That's having a clutch defensive line. So I can bank on the offense. I can bank on the offense coming up when needed be. Because they showing us that time and time again. But now we're seeing in those clutch moments, 
it's it's the defense making those plays as well. You know? So that's the first thing. The Eagles are clutch. They know how to come back from behind. The 49ers don't. The second point is that we're home. We're home. The Eagles at Lincoln Financial Field. You got to be there to believe. If you are an Eagles fan and you have been at Lincoln Financial Field, only you can really attest to what I'm saying. Look, it's different. It's different, bro. When you have Brock Purdy, a guy who hasn't been in, you know, situations that is as hostile as Philly, it's going to be a little different when you come into a situation where, yo, you got well, like sixty thousand people screaming, like, "Come on!" Like, I know every every away game is difficult, but this is really, really difficult, really difficult. And this is gonna be a situation where it's gonna be a high scoring game. I feel like this will be the game that the Eagles show how dynamic they are on offense. A hundred percent. Because I wouldn't be I wouldn't be, you know, giving y'all the real giving y'all my real take if I did not think that the 49ers are going to put up some points tomorrow. They will. They will. The only reason is because our linebacking core, we have Nicobe Dean out, Zach Cunningham out. They just upgraded some guy from the practice squad to be on the roster on Thursday. So our linebacking, our middle our middle linebackers, you know, that's definitely uh, you know, that's going to be that's a bad spot right there. That's a bad spot right there. So if Kyle Shanahan is what y'all say he is, they should be able to put some points up. But I believe that the Eagles offense, they know if we don't put up points, we we might get blown out. So they will put up points, too. They will match the 49ers. It might be a first half where it's 17-14 49ers. It might be a first half where it's 14-14. Maybe 2017 Eagles. But all we need from the offense is to keep the Eagles in striking distance in the fourth quarter. And I believe that the defense will have that one or two plays that will make the, the difference in the game. And it's going to come down to that defensive line of Jordan Davis, of Jalen Carter. Let me say this too. You saw that video of Trent Williams attacking those Eagles players? I want to see him do that this year <laughs> against Jalen Carter and Jordan Davis. Yeah, try that now. Try that now. Because it's not going to end up very, very well for you. I'm going to be honest. And Trent, you're going to be working real hard. Because other than you, who the hell can protect Brock Purdy against the Eagles defensive line? So you're going to be working real hard, buddy. And we got some young guns that is not... That easy to push off. And Jalen Carr is going to give y'all fits all freaking day. You can stamp it. You can stamp it. And Bradbury, I believe in you. James Bradbury, I believe in you. Debo was talking crazy. I need you to shut him up. I don't need you to make it about you. But if you a dog like that, if somebody calls you trash, you gotta you gotta have a have a game. I believe in James Bradbury. He finna have himself a game, bro. He finna have himself a game. And I'll even say this. I think James Bradbury will have an interception this game. I definitely, definitely do. He will have one. James Bradbury. He ain't do it. What are you, what are you supposed to do in the, in the uh, Super Bowl? But he ain't no scrub, bro. And 
he going to have Debo eat those words. My message to Debo Samuel, when the Eagles beat the 49ers, I don't want to hear you brushing off all that trash talking you was talking about. Stand on that. Stand on that in a win or in a loss. But I'd be very surprised if he stands on it in a win. I mean, my fault. I'll be I'll be very surprised if he stands on it in a loss because Debo is known to talk crazy, and then when things don't go his way, now he's quiet. It's just, it's 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 funny. It's funny. So here's my prediction for the game. Uh, last thing, last thing, last thing, last thing. Depending on how this game goes, Sean Desai might get a head coaching job next season. Based off this game. If the Eagles defense is productive against the 49ers offense, when they have injuries and that linebacking core and Obviously, the secondary has been banged up and all that. If this Eagles defense is able to withstand that onslaught uh, in San Francisco, um, Sean Desai is going to be a head coach somewhere else, either for the Chargers, for, you know, who else needs, for the Bills, for the Saints. I mean, this is the opportunity for him to really show that he can be a head coach because – you know, he's made some great adjustments, but this is going to be on him. This is going to be on him. But I, I I, definitely believe that the defense has some playmaking. You know, they got some plays in and down to the stretch like they always do. So my prediction for this game, I'm going to give y'all 34-31. Eagles. Let me know what you think down below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Sorry, today I had my iPhone on because my camera stuff was just messing up. But I'm getting a new little. Y'all going to see it, but this is my real camera. I'm just on my iPhone right now. But look, I really appreciate all the love. I'm telling y'all, once I'm out of grad school this semester, I got a couple weeks. I got a couple weeks. Just know. We are turning up. Get us to 10K on Instagram because at 10K, I have a very, very special surprise for all my Real Talk, Real Talk fans. Love y'all. Peace and blessings. Go Georgia Bulldogs. See y'all.